Now, in electric locomotives, uh, the uh, efficiency is uh, horsepower output divided by uh, uh, similar units and in input. In a loudspeaker, you measure the output in decibel sound pressure level, which can be related to uh, uh, efficiency. And it happens that, uh, and this is something that uh, can, sh can be shown mathematically, that distortion is inversely proportional to efficiency. Inversely means upside down. Well, my mother bought him an Edison phonograph in 1923. Uh, and I didn't realize how important it was, but she put it in the corner. Corner. Put it in the corner. Uh, after my tour in South America, I went to Sanford for some great postgraduate work. And a fellow postgraduate student at Stanford heard that I had uh, gotten a, a speaker that uh, I could put in a box. And he said, put it in the cor corner. In the corner? It didn't re dawn on me that at that time that uh, that's what my mother had done some dozen or so years before. But uh, I did try to put it in, uh, I tuned it up and played it and shoved it in the corner and woke up. It does things to the corner. Put a, put a speeder in a corner. Now where's a piece of talk, talking paper? I want to draw you a dirty picture. No, I can't draw a straight line. That's a corner. In fact, a corner, it's four, four of them. If we have a speaker located here, it radiates into this quadrant of this circle. If you put four speakers in there, in there like this, now you've got it. It takes four times as much power to do that, to feed four speakers. But we get the same sound pressure level out here uh, as a person listening. Um, as he, as a, a, another listener in a location like this. Uh, the thing is that we've wasted uh, three quarters of our power. We've lost the uh, efficiency of putting a speaker in a corner. It's efficiency. Now, in electric locomotives, uh, the uh, efficiency is uh, horsepower output divided by uh, uh, similar units and in input. In a loudspeaker, you measure the output in decibel sound pressure level, which can be related to uh, uh, efficiency. And it happens that, uh, and this is something that uh, can, sh can be shown mathematically, that distortion is inversely proportional to efficiency. Inversely means upside down. I remember the, the student, uh, fellow student at Stanford that said, put it in the corner. I did, and I liked what I heard. Then I got uh, associated with another fellow student who was writing a thesis on loudspeakers. And uh, I got in his way a lot. I asked him que questions, dirty questions and clean questions and all sorts of dirty questions. Uh, Unfortunately, he couldn't give me very many answers. In 1930, 
1941, Uncle Sam punched my ticket. I thought, oh, I'm going to be a small arm, small arm expert. No, I was going to have command. My troops were going to be 13 girls who were being taught how to run a chronograph. And we measured the velocity of, of shells being fired from cannon. Well, I learned a lot about cannonry. Cannonry. I don't. I, th I think that's a coined word. Don't be careful about how you spell it. I just made it up. But I had published my thesis for, for, from Stanford, and I, instead of giving the receptionist my printed card, I gave her a copy of the uh, thesis. I did not get in to see the boss. He came out to see me. Uh, that job lasted until 41, when the uh, Uncle Sam assigned my job to me. After the war, I rented a little tin shed down behind the laundry, where I've sp spent some, a uh, couple of years, I guess, finding out how to make a high-frequency speaker to go to, go with my low-frequency low woofer. I introduced the clip horn. Incidentally, uh, I was trying to sell the idea, and uh, I wrote to somebody in New York that. And he wrote back, uh, yeah, we know about the clip, uh, we, we know about your, we know about your speaker. Uh, we call it the clip horn. Well, that was a little bit like waving another flag in front of a, waving another bullet in front of the red flag.